Bonjour et bonsoir et bienvenue à Rendez-vous avec Yasmin. Et Kuma, it's going to be a delicious rendezvous. Yes, the seventh edition of Rendezvous is devoted to Good France or Good Life, an event that brings together chefs from different backgrounds across different continents in a worldwide celebration of vitality and the beauty of French gastronomy. It was organized by the Ministry for Europe and Foreign Affairs and was initiated by Alain Ducas the first chef to have three restaurants awarded with three Michelin stars at the same time. Our guest on Rendezvous is Aurelia Collard, the cultural attaché of the Embassy of France in Sri Lanka and the Maldives. Bonsoir Aurelia et bienvenue à Rendezvous. Bonsoir. Can you explain to us what Good France is all about? So Good France, as you were mentioning right before, uh, was launched in 2015 and it's an initiative by the French Ministry for Europe and Foreign Affairs and the chef Alain Ducasse. So initially it was a format of one single dinner that was held simultaneously around the world. It has now evolved to uh, really take, fr take place in different time frames. Every year there is also a partnership with different regions in France. So this year it's the region Centre Val de Loire. Uh, so it will be all about uh, promoting its uh, fishermen, its wine growers, its products. Um, and also there is also an emphasis on sustainable eating and uh, healthy eating that will be uh, respectful of the planet and our health. And after the unprecedented health crisis, it's also very important to promote and support the restaurants and all the actors in the field that were deeply affected by the crisis. Could you tell us something about uh, Alain Ducasse, who uh, began this concept called Good France? Yes, of course. So Alain Ducasse is really one of the most famous chefs in the world. He's one of the, he really enjoys a legendary status in the world of gastronomy. And he's known not only for his incomparable um, touch in uh, cuisine, but also on his portfolio of restaurants and hotels that he's uh, created around the world. He's also an educator, a creator, a publisher. And what's interesting about his story is that at the age of 27, he was the sole survivor of a plane crash. Uh, and he was laying in the, in the snow for seven hours waiting for rescues to come. And since then, he's really had this approach that he wants to make the most of every aspect of his life. And only six years after this attack, he became uh, part, uh, he was heading the restaurant Louis XV in Monte Carlo and became the first chef uh, that was awarded the six, three stars, Michelin star. After that, he created uh, his own restaurant, Alain Ducasse restaurant in Paris, and uh, was awarded, the, became the first chef to be awarded the six Michelin star. So over the years, he's also become uh, chefs in uh, many prestigious restaurants around the world, including the restaurant of the Plaza Athene, the Meurice in Paris too, and the Dorchester in London. Uh, he also has a very strong emphasis in education, so he created his own culinary school, the Ecole de Cuisine Alain Ducasse, that is aimed at non-professionals in Paris. Uh, to really transmit and uh, have this pedagogy around the philosophy of humanist cuisine. Aurelia, tell us how does the French Embassy in Sri Lanka and the Maldives plan to celebrate this event? So the fourth edition of uh, Good France in Sri Lanka and the Maldives will take place during one week from uh, November 1st to 7. It will gather 12 partner restaurants, so nine in Sri Lanka and three in the Maldives. And the idea is that uh, the restaurants are invited to uh, do their own French style dinner, paying tribute to uh, French cuisine and the values that we were mentioning just before. So it's the pleasure of sharing while promoting sustainable eating and healthy eating. It will also be an opportunity to showcase the talents and the excellence of the local chefs and to see their own take on French cuisine and the menus that they've created. Thank you Aurelia et merci beaucoup de votre présence à rendez-vous. Merci beaucoup and thank you very much for having invited me to this <laughs> to this uh, rendez-vous. <laughs> Joining us now on rendez-vous, we have Jérôme Oviti, the director of operations of Jetri Matthias. Bonsoir, bonjour et bienvenue à rendez-vous. Bonjour, merci, merci. Pleasure being with you guys. Jérôme, the fifth edition of Good France focuses on sustainable cuisine. Can you explain this concept? Yes, it's, um, I think you need to, uh, to define it in, 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 in three areas. First, you have the, uh, the, the products, right? the sourcing and the cooking. 
So when it comes to uh, sustainability uh, in, 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 in kitchen, if you look at the products, what you try to do is to avoid first to import as much as possible or to, to not to import as much as possible, right? So if, if I take our group, Jetwing Hotels, for example, is that um, we've banned a long time ago imports of any type of fruits. We have papaya, mangoes, bananas, we have so much to offer. So that's, you know, if you look at the imported items. Uh, another type of item that we really ban is canned food. Uh, it's too easy to bring, you know, your tomato sauce in a can, open it up and travel it and say homemade. No, we do uh, believe that it, it's, it's, it's important to, to, to have your product made locally. Plus, all those products are available around them. So that's one thing. The sourcing. Sourcing is really a key element for us because um, you need to help and support the people around you. So you always have the local dealer with coconut, the guy who grows the bananas and so on. And, and that's what we want to do. You know, beautiful strawberries out of, uh, of Norelia, uh, mushrooms that are grown there as well. So, you know, let's not use the canned mushroom. Let's support the local community who is around us. We have a, a, a policy that we try to source most of the product within a 15 kilometer radius of our hotels. So again, that's about sustainability. And then lastly, in terms of cooking, if you look at it, is um, uh, local beef can be done perfectly well if you know how to uh, work with the meat in question, right? So for example, I'll give you a quick tip. If you want to tenderize a, a sirloin or a loin of beef, local beef can be a bit chewy and tough, you just wrap it up in a very thin slice papaya over 24 hours, the next day your beef is so tender. That's a very traditional way of uh, exactly. making the meat tender. So going back to sustainability, use the local resources, the local product, the way people are doing it locally, and you end up having beautiful meal that you serve to your market, whether it's local or foreign market. So let's do local, let's think local, let's cook local. We will be sustainable. Thank you. What is interesting is how you can link sustainable cuisine with French gastronomy. Let's watch uh, Chef Christophe Hay explain all this. La cuisine, c'est pas que euh, aujourd'hui acheter un produit, le cuisiner, le préparer et puis le donner aux convives. Cette gastronomie durable, c'est avant tout euh, bah, respecter le sol, respecter les gens qui m'entourent. C'est mes équipes, on a énormément besoin d'eux. Toutes les personnes qui nous rejoignent ont cette même volonté euh, d'être euh, sensibilisées par rapport à cet impact sur l'environnement. Respecter les convives euh, qui poussent la porte de mon établissement et qui ont envie de découvrir justement une cuisine engagée avec des produits euh, ultra locaux. Je suis un terroiriste engagé auprès de nos petits producteurs. Ça, c'est du céleri doré, ouais. Et puis derrière, tu as, as la variété locale, là, le violet de Tours. Ces producteurs ont une vraie volonté de, de, de faire des jolis produits. Et ce qui est important, c'est justement d'aller à leur rencontre, euh, de valoriser leurs produits, de les mettre en avant, de les emmener un petit peu avec nous dans cette aventure de, de, de la haute gastronomie. Je me suis donné la peine euh, avec mes équipes euh, de faire de la vente à emporter. Cette vente à emporter, elle a bien fonctionné. Elle nous a permis de pouvoir rouvrir avec un, un dynamisme. Et finalement, quand on a rouvert, on a eu un engouement. Ma philosophie de la gastronomie, c'est avant tout une philosophie humaine, bienveillante, respectueuse. Euh, elle passe par cette partie végétale qui est très importante dans ma cuisine. Aujourd'hui, on travaille essentiellement que des poissons de Loire, donc des poissons qui évoluent sur le sable et les galets avec des chairs très fines, euh, des poissons qu'on ne connaît trop peu. Ce qu'on peut retenir de tout ça, c'est que euh, dans un département, dans une région, on a tellement de richesses. A short break and we're back soon with more on Rendezvous with Yasmin and Kumar. <musique>
Welcome back to Rendezvous. Jerome, what are the two recipes your chef Indika Bandar is going to do for us on the Good France edition of Rendezvous? Well, in line with the sustainability idea, that what we thought is that we would, of course, use only local products. So the first one is uh, curled endive. Endive is a very, very well-known, at least Belgium, uh, type of salad, if you want, but very, very much used in France. And uh, interestingly, it's being produced here in Sri Lanka. So uh, we decided to do the curled endive with warm bacon vinaigrette. The only thing in that recipe which is uh, not uh, produced in Sri Lanka is the red wine vinegar. So there's a moment where you can't be sustainable 100% and we need a bit of a leeway. But that's the only thing. The rest is, you know, the pork is obviously from here and uh, the, the eggs and, and crouton and herbs that we have put in the, in the, in the recipe. The other one is a beautiful fish, which I discovered some time ago when I came to Sri Lanka, is moda. A grilled moda, uh, simply grilled with a bit, again, with olive oil, because you need that extra flavor. Uh, that's really a lovely dish, and that's something that we will be as well presenting on that occasion, uh, with a bit of baby vegetables and a sauce, what we call Dijonese, to be French, so we had to bring a bit of mustard from Dijon. But again, that's a very small import, so I hope you will forgive us for that. But otherwise, we are using only local ingredients, and that's the whole idea of this year Goût de France. Merci, Jérôme, de votre présence à rendez-vous. C'est un plaisir. Je vous remercie aussi. So, over to Chef Indica Bandara. Get ready with your pen and paper to take notes. Curled on dives with warm bacon vinaigrette. To make the slow cooked eggs, fill a saucepan with two thirds of water. Add one teaspoon vinegar and bring to a boil. Break each egg into a cup and slide one at a time into the water. Reduce the heat to a bare simmer. Poach the eggs until the whites are set, but the yolks are still soft, about three minutes. Remove with a slotted spoon and drain on paper towels. Sprinkle with salt and pepper. To make the bacon and red wine vinegar, fry the bacon in a pan and cook until crisp. Add the onions, garlic, and finish with the red wine vinegar. Cook for a while, remove and keep at cold room temperature. Wash and dry the lettuce and toss with the red wine vinegar and serve with the poached eggs and crouton. This looks wonderful. It's a work of art. Seriously. Up to you to try now. And if there are any questions, contact us. Yes, on our YouTube channel, Rendezvous with Yasmin and Kumar. Thank you, Indika. I think you are an artist to create this. You certainly are one. Wow. The video of the making of this dish, grilled moda, which Yasmin is tasting right now without giving it to me, uh, will be presented on the YouTube channel of the Embassy of France in Sri Lanka, the Maldives, at 7 o'clock on the 4th of November in celebration of good France around the world. And in Sri Lanka from the 1st to the 7th of November. Yes, you can also catch a chats with the other Sri Lankan chefs mm. who joined hands and are part of this celebration 
Good France, mm. uh, Sri Lanka 2021, uh, on the YouTube channel of the Embassy of France in Sri Lanka and the Maldives. May I? Please. Bonne soirée, à la prochaine. À la prochaine.